Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back today to um, do another reading for you guys. This one's going to be on the topic of the solar eclipse in Libra on October 2nd, uh, 2024. That's happening um, and I'm really excited to record this. Um, I have tried to record this several times now and so I've laid out a spread already and actually I completed the entire reading and then basically my my phone had ran out of time and so I had to end it and so like in some way I have all these messages in my head for what um is coming through for the solar eclipse already and um I'm basically going to start over but also if some of those those pieces come through I will um, talk about those. Um, before I jump in, I do want to say a big shout out and thank you to everybody who's been so kind and supportive and has donated and helped um, through this process. Um, I'm still without housing and um, right now I am not feeling well. I have a cold and um, I may cough or sneeze or <laughs> blow my nose in the middle of this reading. Um, I also did post over on Instagram an entire reading for you guys on the solar eclipse. And I have to say, I'm really hopeful and I'm really positive. I'm really feeling positive about the solar eclipse. I feel it might be a little bit rocky, especially for my YouTube watchers, viewers. The road through this eclipse is going to be rocky. It's going to be, it has this kind of back and forth energy, which is very Libra. Um, the road through it is challenging. But I definitely feel that there's some highlights and there's some positive things and there's some overall, it's going to feel like a relief for a lot of people that this this um, astrology, this piece of the astrology is, is done with for this period of time. Um, it's like a milestone, basically, is what I'm saying and, and seeing. And um, I do feel like we are at the tail end of a long cycle, which has really really been challenging for a lot of people um it's the libra has the sign of libra has been on the south node um you know and so with the with the libra being on the south node it's all of the peace that we would have has been taken away so issues around peace issues around sleeping issues around fighting issues around arguments issues around just like you know, being constructive, issues around relationships, all of this stuff has been in the collective since, well, this has been ongoing for a long, long, long time, but um, s s very heavily, though, since the last solar eclipse in Libra on uh, in July. I definitely have felt it personally. It has decimated all of my relationships. It, life is a complete clean slate. And I do encourage everybody to look at this eclipse as if it is going to make a clean slate and a fresh start for a lot of people. Um, more so than the Pisces lunar eclipse. The Pisces lunar eclipse to me has an emotional quality to it, which to me talks a lot about how we feel about things and, and feeling like being in more in touch with our emotions. Um... And then working on our stability and emotional stability and our mental health. And the Libra energy, though, is very different in the sense that it has a, because it's on the south node, it has um, kind of a releasing energy. It's releasing, it's sort of deteriorating, it's an ending, it's some kind of thing that it comes to a stop or halt or like, okay, we're done here kind of energy. But I do feel like the fresh slate is what comes from it. And I do feel like it's positive. Um, whether it personally affects you because you have signs in Libra or because it's part of the collective and it's just something that um, we're all going through in, in some regard. Um, okay, I will say all of the links to donating and supporting uh, me in this time are going to be in the comments. Okay, so Venmo, PayPal, the donate button, um, Cash App. Um, I need new winter boots. I need basic items, food. Um, I need to do laundry again. So all of the things that I would need, um, I, I need support with basically at this time. Um, okay. So I want to start off with this reading with it feeling like there's a lot going on going into this eclipse. There's a lot of energy here about having a lot going on. Some of you need to take time to rest. You're not resting. Some of you may be overworking. Um, 
I see we have with the high priestess here, some of you already kind of have an idea about maybe how things are going to go. Maybe you might have some interesting dreams or premonitions at this time about what's coming through this eclipse. I definitely feel something is going to come through this eclipse and it's going to be like a green light for some of you. And I definitely feel we have this green energy here with this eight of pentacles. Um, it's going to be refreshing. It'll be like a refreshing green light. But again, it could come after something ends or something stops or something stalls. Um, okay, I also do feel, okay, so we got this Ace of Cups as well. I also do feel that there's an element of prosperity here. Um... You know, I feel like the Libran Venus energy is very supportive of prosperity and love and abundance. And for some of you, this is going to be a huge blessing because you might not have felt this level of prosperity before or it might be, have been some time since you felt a certain level of prosperity that's going to come through. Um, this could be, for some of you, it's just an increase, like having a larger paycheck or maybe it's just getting a paycheck. Or maybe it's an increase somehow of money that comes through um, some way that is a sizable amount. Um, you know, I'm not sure where it could come from. Um, but again, it's a sizable amount and it's going to shift things for the better for, for many of you. Um, I do feel there is sort of this wobble or this back and forth energy that I was talking about. We have the Justice card that is the Libra energy that talks about an indecisiveness it's like libra's natural indecisiveness makes it so it's very hard to like nail something um or like put a final mark on something and, and that's the irony with the uh, solar eclipse is that to me this is like a final mark on something and so i feel there's going to be some decision that will be made that might be that might come on the heels of a lot of going back and forth. Should I, shouldn't I? You know, I feel like there's going to be a decision that is made. Um, and I definitely feel for some, the decision might be to get a divorce or separate. The decision might be, okay, I'm going to file some paperwork, legal paperwork. Or I'm going to um, move. Or I'm going to... Uh, you know, go study music, or I'm going to go take a class, or I'm going to, um, you know, pick up a second job, or, you know, start a new hobby. For some of you, like, you have intuition yourself, so some of you might be starting some kind of, um, you know, spirituality business, or you might have, uh, you know, some spiritual gifts that you're exploring. You know, it's, it's decisions to do things, and I don't necessarily feel it's all relationship related. I definitely feel, though, the challenge at this time is relationships, is contracts, is getting people to do what they say they're going to do, is getting people to be on board, is getting the peace agreement, is getting people to agree with you. If you walk into a building and somebody starts an argument with you, you know that you're dealing with some energy of disbalance in Libra. Um, I feel like the solar eclipse is also going to bring, for, for many of you, um, either some trip or some travel. I do feel like the direction is west, some of you going west, but I also feel like some of you could be also thinking about heading east because this person is looking at, the, like, to me, this is east. Um... I feel like some of you are going to be maybe not liking, maybe you don't like your life at this time, or maybe you don't like the way things have gone. You're going to be really looking at like, what are your, your expectations as far as outcomes? Um, looking at your path and going, okay, where can I change my path? Like if there's something that you don't like on in your path or in your life, I feel like you're going to really look at what you can do to change it. And you're going to really take ownership and account accountability for changing it. Um, Libra always has two paths. There's always something else that they could do or it's something else that maybe they haven't thought of. Um, so I would reach out to people, people that are older and wiser. Do some research. Go to the library. Ask people questions that are maybe in a different field than you are. Um, 
you know, send out some emails, be inquisitive, be a little bit like the Libra at this time. I also encourage everybody to light their candles and say some prayers and let go of everything that you don't want to take past this point and say thank you to the lessons that you've learned. Um, I have to let everybody go. Thank you guys so much. I send everyone big hugs, big kisses, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. All right, take care. All the best.